नमस्कार बहुत स्वागत है आपका ई विद्या लाइव और एन सी यूट्यूब ऑफिशियल पर और आपके साथ अगले आधे घंटे के इस सफर में मैं याशु गांधी सक्सेस इज नॉट ओनली द की ऑफ हैप्पीनेस तो खुश रहना है तो जीवन में और भी बहुत सारी चीजों की जरूरत होती है और इसको हमें लर्न करना होता है तो इसी मोटिवेशनल लाइन के साथ बढ़ते हैं आगे और करते हैं अपने आज के सेशन की शुरुआत जिसमें हमारा आज का जो सब्जेक्ट है वो है इंग्लिश क्लास फिफ्थ और टॉपिक है बहुत ही मज़ेदार टेस्टी सा जी हाँ द आइसक्रीम मैन और इसको हमें बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग वे से एक्सप्लेन करने के लिए समझाने के लिए बहुत ही ख़ास मेहमान हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं हमारे साथ हैं डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ एजुकेशन से टीजीटी इंग्लिश में मिस अनु गुप्ता अनु मैम गुड आफ्टरनून एंड वेरी वेलकम वॉम वेलकम टू यू इन दिस सेशन थैंक यू सो मच तो इस मज़ेदार से टॉपिक में मज़ेदार सी बातें मैम से करेंगे और सुनेंगे समझेंगे लेकिन उससे पहले आपको बता दें कि आपके पास हमारे जो नंबर नोट हैं और अगर नहीं है तो नोट कर लीजिए स्क्रीन पर लगातार दिखाए जा रही हैं और उनके माध्यम से आप कर सकते हैं हमसे संपर्क अपना कोई भी फीडबैक हो वो भी आप हमसे साझा कर सकते हैं साथ ही हमारा जो ई का पता है वो भी नोट कर लीजिए आप उसके माध्यम से भी हमसे संपर्क कर सकते हैं तो इसी के साथ बढ़ते हैं आगे आपको ज्यादा इंतजार नहीं करवाते हैं और शुरुआत करते हैं मैम से समझने की कि आखिर कौन है और कहां से आया है ये आइसक्रीम मैन मैम ओवर टू यू थैंक यू सो मच यशु फॉर अ ब्यूटीफुल इंट्रोडक्शन एंड एज यू स्टेटेड दैट सक्सेस इज नॉट ओनली द की फॉर हैप्पीनेस ऑफकोर्स यू नीड आइसक्रीम फॉर दैट सो येस आइसक्रीम इज ऑल्सो वन मोर थिंग Which makes life a little cool, happy, and easier in summery days. A very warm welcome, my dear children, those who are watching this session with us. Uh, my name is Anu, and today I am going to read with you this beautiful poem, which is called "Ice Cream Ma'am," and it is from class fifth. As you can see, uh, this is your first chapter, dear children. And let us find out, looking at the visual, how beautiful is the visual, uh, dear Yashu Ma'am. uh yes doesn't it recollect you of all the childhood memories don't you recollect don't you recall all your childhood memories looking at the picture to so, session ke liye to main ban jati hu aapki class 5th ki student aur agar bachpan ki yaadon ki baat ki jaye childhood memories wo bhi agar mithas se judi ho thandak se judi ho to ice cream ka naam obviously sabse pehle aata of course of course definitely so yashu ji bhi keh rahi hai ki ye visual dekh ke she is also recalling her childhood and of course i have such lovely fond memories of ice cream man coming to our streets or near our houses to sell ice cream in the summer days as spring is giving way to the summer my dear children i'm sure you must be wishing to have ice cream every day so let us find out what this ice cream man is telling us and here is a small puzzle to you although we have already spilled the beans what is cold soft and creamy and wonderful to eat everyone's favorite treat especially on a hot summer day so dear children i'm sure till now you must be aware of what is this puzzle about this puzzle is about ice cream yes this yummy treat which is there on the screen for you i'm sure your mouths would be watering to see this yummy treat actually bachcho ka to hamara bhi kar raha hai i'm sure ma'am aapka bhi <laughs> yes yes definitely <laughs> bilkul but let me tell you dear children since this is changing weather and actually yes so you must be very careful about what you are eating and what you are taking in and uh, as these days children are also falling sick so you must be very careful when you are having cold or very hot food going forward with this little bit of information let us find about the author or i should say authoress of this poem as you can see the picture the picture is of rachel lehman field who is the authoress of this poem or poetess of this poem she was born between 94 1894 to 1942 and she was an american novelist poet and children's fiction writer the children there are two pictures of the books much acclaimed books on the screen for which she also won many awards her best known work is hitty her first 100 years which is visible on the screen and another book is time out of mind 
She also won a National Book Award, Newbery Honor Award and two of her books are on the Lewis Carroll Shelf Award list. So that was about our author or poetess. Let us find out a little bit about the words that we are going to come across in the poem. And this is really surprising. The poem is about ice cream and here I am showing you the picture of fire. But let us learn what this is saying. The word here that we are going to learn is blaze. Blaze meaning bright flame or fire. As you can see children the picture shows fire blazing heat. Blaze is the word I am repeating it. Moving on to the next word. Trundling, trundling, trundling is an action which says moving on small broad wheels. Dear children as you can see a boy is trundling along is carrying a wheelbarrow and the wheelbarrow is trundling on the street. Moving on to the next word mounds, <coughs> mounds and here it is heap. The meaning of mound is heap or pile. Here is a mound or heap of mud in front of you dear children. You see a lot of mound of rubbish, garbage also and so the word used here is mound. Moving on to the next word and with a beautiful visual is frosty fizz. Frosty fizz is an adjective and we call this word frosty fizz when we are talking about chilled drinks. As you can see in the visual also some very pretty colored beautiful drinks are there and I am really wishing to drink them actually <laughs> are there on the screen. So yes my anchor wants to drink this cold drink. Let us find out what the next word is about. Cluster. Cluster is group of similar things. Dear children as you can see three houses clustered along next to each other. So cluster meaning group of similar things. Here on the screen are the words all together. The new words, that's uh, so many words, blaze, it's bright flame or the fire. Abhi just aapne bataya bhi bachchon ko or then uh, come to the next word which is trundling, moving on small broad wheels <coughs> and uh, mounds which is heap, um, pile. So, um, there is so many new words. Bacho, in words ko dekho bhi, padho bhi aur thoda sa pen down bhi kar lo. To obviously, recall karne mein bhoat asani hogi. A wonderful suggestion given by Yashu to pen down. So, uh, I am in the habit of writing down whenever I am learning. This is my habit of learning. Dear children, please write down in the comment section how do you learn? Do you also write down when you learn? So, moving on with our new words which we just recall. Here is our poem, the poem about the ice cream man. Finally, let us read the poem. When summers in the city and bricks a blaze of heat, the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street. When summers, ma'am, let us repeat it and you also have repeat it When summers in the city and bricks a blaze of heat, the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street. Or, isko aapi saath mein repeat karo. Badte hai aage. Bent his round umbrella. Oh, umbrella, your one of the favorite, the rainy season. Bent his round umbrella. Oh, what a joyful sight to see him fill the cons with mounds. Or cooling brown and white. Wow, ma'am, ये वाकई इसको बहुत ही beautifully explain किया गया है, बहुत ही beautifully लिखा गया है. और बच्चों आप भी इसको साथ साथ read out करो, pen down करो. बहुत सारे नए words भी हैं इसमें क्यों ma'am? Yes, absolutely. जब हम ये poem पढ़ते हैं बच्चों, तो हमें summer season याद आता है, जैसे कि summer season अभी हम experience कर रहे हैं. And the summer season is saying that when the summer is in the, in the city and bricks a blaze of heat, the word that we just read, blaze, blaze meaning fire. And 
which means every brick is a blaze of heat like every brick is on fire and here comes our ice cream man our savior with his little cart and how is he coming my dear children down the street yes he is coming trundling down the street down the street and next beneath his round umbrella umbrella oh what a joyful sight so what is there to be joyful about under his round umbrella to see him fill the cones with mounds of, of cooling brown and white wow so under his round umbrella he is filling the cones with mounds and children can you guess what the what are the mounds of these mounds are of our beloved ice cream ice cream which is brown and white not only brown and white here are so some other colors and yes, the flavor as well of um, course and moving on we have some flavors also and children i want you to tell me in the comment section which is your favorite flavor here vanilla chocolate strawberry or chili things to drink from bottles full of frosty fizz green orange white or pink Wow! So the ice cream man is not only selling the ice creams, but he is also selling chilly things to drink. Do remember, children, because we are going to find out what the ice cream man is selling in the exercise section also. Oh! And what are these drink? Uh, these the color of these drinks from bottles full of frosty fizz, green, green orange, orange, white, and white pink. Oh, pink! Wow! Such colorful bottles of frosty fizz who would say no to them exactly and lastly his cart might be a flower bed of roses and sweet peas the way the children cluster round as thick as honey bees so beautiful such a beautiful imagery dear children of course it the author says the poet says that the cart of the ice cream man looks like a flower bed and the children are clustering around this cart just like honey bees do isn't it the case dear children whenever the ice cream man comes to your street comes to your uh, wherever you are living don't you see the children clustering around the ice cream cart i used to do the same when i was young did you also do that yes ma'am <laughs> so yes we all are in our childhood now and that was our beautiful poem a little cool a little tasty and yummy also moving on to let us recall section let us see dear children how much you were you were with us so question number 1 says which is very easy and i want yashu ji to help me out here yes in which season is ice cream popular isn't it a very simple one dear children please write down fast in the comment section and let us see the answer which season is it winter is it rainy no, or is it winter Summer. No, summer, it, summer. Yes, of course, it is summer, summer season. Summer season. And next question says, who feels joyful on seeing the ice cream man? I think everybody feels joyful, but here we are talking about our dear children. Childrens. So, children become joyful on seeing the ice cream man. Next question says, name the different flavors the ice cream man has in his cart. So children do you recall which were the flavors in in the book in the poem the flavors were vanilla strawberry and uh chocolate yes and here dear children you can add on to the flavors that you like and see let's see the answer vanilla chocolate and strawberry i got it right these are such wonderful questions dear children i'm sure you must have also commented in the comment section while reading this these questions There are a few more. Let us see how much you recall. What are the two things the ice cream man is selling? As I told you, dear children, you will be asked to recall. <coughs> so, uh, what are the two things? Ice cream and chili drinks. Wow! Amazing. So, my dear student who is sitting next to me <laughs> is absolutely right. The ice cream man is selling. ice cream and chilled drinks which we saw in the pictures also yes and i think this is the last question dear children what is the ice cream compared to in the poem the ice cream is compared to a flower bed of roses and sweet peas sweet peas 
and if I ask my dear student here, yes, ma'am, what were our children compared to in the poem? If the ice cream cart was the flower bed, then what were the children compared to? Who who are attracted to the flower bed? Which insect is attracted to the flower bed? It's oh, the bees. It's honey bees. Yes, yes, it's the honey bees. bees. Yes, dear children, it was the children were compared to honey bees. So you must also flock around the ice cream cart whenever it comes, but be careful about your throat. Moving on, we have some very interesting exercises for you, dear children. Don't go anywhere. Next exercise says, having an ice cream on a hot summer day is exciting and enjoyable. Now, children, you're supposed to write about some of the exciting things and enjoyable things that one can do in the winter season. So here the season is changed, but you are just been asked to write about something exciting and enjoyable. So let us talk about it a little here, Yeshu ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What are the exciting things that you do in winter season? Winters में तो बहुत सारी गर्म चीजें जैसे हम हम summers की बात कर रहे हैं ice cream बहुत ज़्यादा पसंद है बच्चों को ठंडी drinks पसंद है vice versa हम जब winters की बात करते हैं तो obviously हमें बहुत hot चीजें पसंद आती हैं hot drinks पसंद आती हैं हमारी cold coffee hot coffee में yes yes definitely and the first thought that comes to my mind is having fritters or that we call in Hindi pakoras having yes. pakoras and sipping tea is a, a most exciting and enjoyable thing I do in the winter season exactly and snuggling in the quilt is another thing and watching TV sipping some soup soup wow <laughs> uh, wearing lots and lots of jackets and I think that's all other these all other some things that are enjoyable and exciting in, in winter season in winter season but yet I want our dear children to think about some more exciting things that they do in winter season and write down about them and share with us right now. Moving on next, wow, we have another very interesting activity. And the activity says, list as many summer activities as you can. I think it's a very simple one because children become very active during summer season. So let us talk about some activities that we can do in summer season. First of all, if we look at the picture, we have to talk about bathing and swimming. Yes. Because the picture is also showing us like this. Because it's cold, cold water is very good to drink. And to drink and to swim. Of course, yes. To swim and to swim. So, as Yashu Bhaam is saying that she loves to bathe and swim in summer, that is our first activity. And what else can we do? We can have picnics in shade. Or we can play with our friends and summer also recall us of summer vacation. Summer vacation. Yes, so Soon summer vacation is impending. Of, uh, yes, most favorite kids. time of our children Genius. and it is impending. It's coming, it's going to come in just a month's time and I'm sure our dear children must be waiting for the summer break so that they can visit their grandparents or their relatives wherever they are staying or maybe spend some time on a vacation with the entire family. I sure am looking forward to the same. So that is another summer activity that one can do. Of course, how can we forget having lots and lots of ice creams? Ice cream. Yes. <laughs> uh, what else can we do? We can go to water parks. Yes. Yes, we can go activity, to activity related with water. Yes. So any activity related to water and have lots and lots of cold fruits or maybe something that is put up in fridge and eat it. So these are some summer activities that we can list here. Now here the this question is related to our previous two activities and what are we supposed to do children? We are to group the activities in the categories below which the activities that we just discussed we need to group them in indoor or outdoor activities. So, in both in summer and winter season, we can play games also, indoor games or outdoor, outdoor games. Outdoor games, both. So, we can put them in indoor section and in outdoor section. Outdoor section, both. Or like swimming. Swimming, we can put in the outdoor section outdoor activity. Section. And snuggling in the quilt, we can put in indoor activity. Indoor activity. So, just like that children, please group the activities in the categories that are given. Moving on, we have word building. It's another very, very nice activity. I really love doing such kind of activities where I have to color. Dear children, do you also enjoy? Let me tell you what is there in this activity. 
you have to color the boxes that have rhyming words. Rhyming words. I am sure children you must be aware what are rhyming words. Rhyming words are those words which have same sound that those rhyming words end in the same sound. I will do one for you and rest I really wish that you write down to us. Let us read out the first box city and card are they rhyming? No, no. they are not rhyming since one is ending in e and the other word is t. Let us move on to the second box heat and street yes of course they are rhyming blows and goes are they rhyming children yes blows and goes do not look for the spelling just look for how they are sounding. <coughs> Our last next box is do and go although their spelling looks same but they are not rhyming words hard and yard yes these are rhyming words bowl and doll they can be clubbed in together cow and so no they are not rhyming label and table yes they are sky and my yes they are play and obey of course race and face yes and lastly write and night. So, we have several boxes that have rhyming words and once again dear children I must tell you do not look for the spelling, but look for the sound that these words are making and then you will find the right answer. Moving on, ah, this is I think one of the best activities of our entire lesson. So, I am going to ask our anchor dear Yashu, have you ever eaten kulfi Yashu? Kulfi, yes, kulfi, <coughs> faluda, <laughs> yummy. Yes. So, kulfi always comes coupled together with faluda. Faluda. So, uh, kulfi is our North Indian ice cream, and following sentence this that you see here, dear children, although the pictures are in correct order, but the sentences written here are not in the correct order. So, you need to unjumble the letters and make it into a chronological one how the kulfi is served. Children, the first image, what does it show? The first image shows that the kulfi wala is taking out the kulfi from the picture. So, uh, does the sentence written along with the picture suits it? No, the sentence says he is scooping out the kulfi. So, I think let us find out which sentence suits the first picture. Can you guess it? He arranged some. Mm. It's the third it's one. The third one. The yes. Kulfi wala tricks the kulfi mould out of the picture. picture. Yes. So the sentence that can come perfectly well with the first picture is the kulfi wala takes the kulfi out of the mould, uh, out of the picture. Picture. Moving on to the second one. The second picture is where the kulfi wala is serving, uh, and. And is it suiting? I guess it's uh, first one. Yes, you got it right. So now you are getting the hang of how the activity goes. Yes. The second one says he scoops wow. out the kulfi on, on a, a plate. Plate. Of course. <clears throat> what does the kulfi wala has to do after taking out the kulfi from the picture? He need to scoop it out on a plate. Now once he has scooped, let us see the third picture which is on the top and something is pouring in the plate. It's sweet syrup. Yes. Is the sentence right around it? Then he pours sweet syrup over it and serves it. Yes. Yes. The sentence written along with it is absolutely perfect. And lastly moving on to the fourth picture, he is arranging some faluda around, around it. it. Just rightly said by our dear anchor Yashu <laughs> that kulfi always comes with, with faluda, faluda and it is ending with faluda <laughs> and I am really really hungry to see this beautiful picture of kulfi faluda. I am sure going to buy one That's kulfi really faluda for myself <laughs> on, <watering>. my, <coughs> yes, on my way back from here. <laughs> and here we come to the end of our lesson, our beautiful and colourful homework. Draw and colour your dream ice cream dear children, here you can unleash your imagination like anything, prepare, draw, colour the ice cream that you want and draw it here in the box given, 
and you can also write down interesting describing words about your ice cream like the kind of color it has or the flavor it has, what size it would be, how it would look like. See generally the ice creams either come in this shape which is there on the screen or they are in or cone. Yeah, cone or cup as cup, well. Yes. Cup as so, well. you can think about another shape like a dinosaur, a dinosaur shaped ice cream and what can be the taste of it and what does it feel like. So, Yashu if I think about it, my ice cream would have a Chinese flavor. Ice cream with Chinese flavor yes. is quite different. Yes. <laughs> Sounds different. Of course, <laughs> since this homework is all about creativity and I love Chinese. Creativity and imagination as well. <laughs> yes. So, I am imagining and I am creating my own ice cream with Chinese flavor on it with lots of sparkles. Since we can oh. also add in colors of our choice, so lots of sparkles, my ice cream would be sparkling. And what shape shall, shall I give my ice cream? Uh, okay, I can give the shape of mobile phone. How funny my ice cream would look Actually, like. Actually, and your imagination is. And I hope that our children will be able to creative sa imagine their ice cream. Yes. And you have told me so much about your ice cream. And you have told me so much about your ice cream. It is completely a mouth watering <laughs> Yes. So, it was a is... mouth watering session throughout. Dear children, I am sure and I really wish that you have enjoyed this entire session fully. Here I am wrapping up this session and if anything is there you want to ask or tell about do write in the comment section Bilkul. about ice creams yes aur isi ke saath ek mithas bhari session ke saath ek mithas bhara bahut bahut thank you so much ma'am shukriya ki aapne bahut acche se hamare bachchon ko na keval bataya balki imagination bhi bahut sari di <laughs> aur isi ke saath bachcho aap bhi ice cream khaiye lekin apne gale ka jaisa ki ma'am ne session mein kaha ki apne gale ka bhi khayal rakhiye happy rahiye और पढ़िए भी और एंजॉय भी करिए अभी के लिए सेशन में इतना ही नमस्कार